Hi everybody, we are going to talk about clicker training for cats this morning. Just a little bit of an introduction. Um, I use clicker training with my cats who were formerly feral cats and it was really helpful for them. I just did a little bit at a time with them. Um, helpful in kind of bringing them out of their shells a little bit and they're both, um, especially Lulu, um, is quite treat oriented and Natalia enjoys her treats too. So um, that was a helpful way um, to get closer to them. And clicker training is also really helpful for animals that can get a little overstimulated or can be a little on edge and need some focus. So um, it can be helpful in a lot of ways. So um, I start out really simply um, with cats. Usually the way that I'll start out is um, either have the cat touch its nose to my finger, click, and give it a treat, or if I'm not comfortable with them getting that close, or they may not be com that comfortable getting that close, you can use a stick of whatever length you like, have them touch their nose to the end of the stick. I've done that with long, long wands, um, sometimes with cats who, um, you know, I wasn't too sure about their behavior, and that can be a really good way. You, you can get wooden dowels, you can use the stick end of a stick toy, you can use um, the non-writing end of a pen, you know, like one of those stick pens. Um, so you have a lot of different options. And here's the little clicker that I use with my cats. I got it online. Um, it happened to come along with Karen Pryor's book about clicker training for cats, and I really highly recommend that you get that book. Um, what I'm doing here is just a fun little introduction to it, and then I really suggest that you find out more from the book, because she'll talk about more specifically um, you know, how it works, why it works, and all of that stuff. And this is just sort of a fun way to begin with your animals. So. Um, what happens is essentially you're clicking and giving them a treat whenever they do something that you want them to do. So you can shape a behavior, you know, you can, you know, there are a couple of different ways to approach it. But um, one of the easiest ways just to get it started is to have them touch their nose to the end of a stick or your finger. And once they do that, click the clicker and give them a treat at the very same time they do that. Um, and do that a few times. Don't, you know, don't wear them out. Don't spend too much time with it, you know. Do maybe five minutes, like the first time, and see how it goes. And what's nice is once they get used to touching their nose to the end of a stick or your finger, um, you can lead them and direct them and get them to go different places with that. So that can be a really nice thing. Um, and something fun that happened in the course of training my cats was that my cat Lulu was so excited about the treat that she got on her hind legs. And so um, I have her touch her nose to my finger when she gets on her hind legs. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of different clips of um, my cats doing the clicker training. And in the first one, what I'm going to show is having them um, touch their nose to the end of a stick of a stick toy and then I click and put the treat on the ground because I think that's a good way to start out um, rather than having them take the treat from your hand and we'll talk about a little about that later and I think having the stick like I said gives them a little more distance and then in the second clip um, I'll do with them what I generally do now which since they're very comfortable I just have them touch their nose to the end of my finger and then I click and give them a treat from my hand. So that's, you know, a little bit down the road. Um, but you can see like a couple of different examples of things that you can do with clicker training with your cats. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do clicker training with Lulu and Natalia. I've got the stick and the clicker in one hand and I've got the treats in the other hand. So we're gonna have them touch their nose to the end of the stick, click, and give a treat. Come on, Natalia. Well, Natalia's off camera, but We'll let her do that. Come on, Lulu. Lulu's a ham, so she doesn't care. Let's 
see if we can get Natalia to move a little. No, she's being shy. But that's okay. Anyway, um, so you'll see I just put the treat on the ground right after I click and we give lots of pets too. They've done a good job. So what I was going to say is that initially, definitely just put the treat on the ground for the cat to take instead of um, letting them eat it out of your hand, especially if you have a cat who's shy or a cat that may tend to get a little nippy or just a little overexcited getting the treat. I think it's best do it for a good while, just having them take it off the ground. Click, put the treat on the ground, and they take it. Um, when you do get ready and feel like you're ready to try letting them take the treat out of your hand, um, you know, you first might just want to experiment with that alone without worrying about holding the clicker or this and that. Um, and what I do suggest is that you put your hand like very flat um, and then put the treat sort of at the end. Sometimes you can kind of even roll it down so that, that it goes into their mouth and that's so you can avoid um, a situation where they get really excited and you know if they do tend to bite a little bit if your hands like kind of flat like that um, it's less apt to be um, you know their teeth are less apt to go in so that's just a little tip and you'll you'll figure out as you go along um, what's the best thing to do with your particular cat because some cats are very gentle in the way they take a treat and others um, not so much okay thank you okay good morning everybody we're going to try some clicker training with my girls Lulu and Natalia and what I'm going to have them do, Lulu likes to touch her nose to my finger, standing on her hind legs, and Natalia is a little, not so much about doing that, but she'll touch her nose to my finger. And once I do that, I'm going to click and give them a treat. So let's give that a try. Hopefully you can see. Up we go. So the minute she touches her nose to my finger, she almost didn't quite do that, but I give it to her. I gotta get one more for the Natalia. One more treat. And I'm using these nice Trader Joe's treats. They're pretty healthy. Um, you can use whatever treats you decide that your cats like and that you want to give them. All right. So now it's Natalia's turn. Okay. And you can break them into little pieces. Good girl. All right. Good job.